hello sis or bro welcome back to my channel it's your girl tamra here with the mompreneur plug and on my channel i help mothers embrace who they are outside of motherhood today um, i'm doing a different type of video thank you so much to everybody who responded to my post and dropped your questions below i am doing a question and answer video um, I think it's important that you guys continue to get to know who I am, especially those of you who are new to my channel. I know some of you have been following me since conception of this channel. Some of you started off early on when I was, you know, um, with hundreds of subscribers. And now this is an honor to be able to say that I am in the tens of thousands of subscribers and it's just been an amazing journey. So I just want to take this time to create a video and um, let you guys find out more about me. I will say I did film this video last week and I fell asleep while filming it. Uh, I mean, it's funny. Some of you guys have been commenting, telling me to get rest. So that was a clear indicator that it was time. I'm going to insert that video right here so you can see. Uh, yeah. I was knocked out trying to film this entire video. So that will not happen today because I took a nap and I'm ready. Here we go. Let's jump into it. So, um, as you can see, it's a whole, I wrote down y'all's questions, y'all. It's, yeah, three pages, okay? So I'm going to get through this as quickly as I can. There were a lot of repeats, so... If I don't ask your specific question, it's because it was already asked previously. Have you ever done acting before? Yes. My bachelor's degree is in theater education. I've been acting since I was about seven years old. It's something I take very seriously, something that I love. And it's definitely a huge passion of mine. So to answer your question, yes, I have acted before. I went to college for it. Um, my bachelor's, my undergrad degree is in it. Um, what is your skincare routine? That is a good question. Um, a lot of people have been telling me how clear and wonderful my skin looks. Um, for the camera, I do apply makeup sometimes just because of the bright lights that I have um, going on my face. Um, if you go back and look at some of my vlogging, you'll see me with, I rarely wore makeup in those videos. Um, but to answer your question about the skincare routine, um, I'm going to drop the link below of several different products that I use, but um, the main products that I use that keeps my skin clear for the most part, I do have stress breakouts, which that's what I'm currently going through right now. Um, and I do break out um, when it's that time of the month, like most women do. Um, but I use um, a product called Soap and Glory. I use it in the mornings and sometimes I use it at night, depending on how I'm feeling. But for the most part, that's my morning wash. Um, it's the Soap and Glory Vitamin C Wash. I use Burt's Bees at night, the Burt's Bees um, Cleansing Gel. Um, I also use Dr. Wood's um, Raw African Soap or Raw African Black Soap. Um, and I really like it. I prefer in the bar, but they also have the wash, the gel wash as well. Um, so that really, I think is what brings the glow that everybody's talking about because it's, it is an exfoliator. I use that, um, every other day or so. Um, and then one of the things that I feel like contributes to it as well is I utilize apple cider vinegar. I dilute it with water and I put it on my face at night before I go to bed and I don't rinse it off. I just let it soak into my skin and um, honestly, like even when I'm having a breakout, if I have like a pimple or a blackhead or something, it kind of dries it out. So that's or brings a blackhead to a full head where you, it can come out. Um, and so I really do like using all of those products and they have really contributed to my skin. So that is my skin care routine. I wash my face every morning and every night. And I would tell people to do that. I also use witch hazel as an extrusion as well and a toner. So I'll drop all that below. Who is your favorite character to act out? My favorite character to act out would be Miss Jenkins. I actually enjoy all of the characters, honestly. But if I had to choose my favorite, it would be Miss Jenkins just because I feel like even though I'm only 30 years old, I feel like 
Miss Jenkins is really a huge part of who I am. <laughs> like, I really do act like somebody's grandma. Um, but Miss Jenkins is kind of a collective of a lot of different people in my life, including myself. Um, because I didn't realize until I started doing Miss Jenkins, but I say, because see, I say that in my everyday life. So it's hilarious. Um, and now that I've been acting like Miss Jenkins for the past two or three months now, um, I find myself talking like her without even realizing it. So it's my favorite character. How did you start your relationship with God and how are you maintaining it? Um, I grew up in church, um, which that doesn't really mean anything, honestly. Plenty of people grew up in church and they don't believe in God or Christians. But I personally grew up in church and I, I had a strong foundation laid from, from the start. Um, but it wasn't until I got to high school and really started seeking God for myself. That's where I would say the true relationship started. When I was younger, it was just tradition. It was just something I did um, habitually. But when I became older to really start praying for myself and asking God for things for myself and trusting in him myself and developing a relationship with myself, that's when I realized that this was a relationship between he and I, not a relationship between him and my parents. And I just watched. Um, and how I maintain it is through prayer, through worship, I take it very seriously. I spend time writing in my journal. I write prayers out. And so that's how I would say I maintain my relationship with him, just like you would with anybody else. You know, you spend time with them, you talk to them, you get to know them. That's how I maintain my relationship with God. So there were uh, several questions about racial tension and being in an interracial relationship. So I'm going to drop that card right above my head to the interracial video, um, interracial marriage videos that my husband and I did. We did a series on it and um, we discussed all of that in there about racial tension, the experience of talking to our son about police brutality and just talking to our son about how people see him and how he has to be careful with certain things. I'll drop uh, drop that card right up here above so you guys can check that out. Um, I don't want to spend too much time on that just because there's so many other questions and I already have answered that question specifically in another video. So check that out. As a God-centered couple, have you and your husband ever struggled with the phase of not feeling centered in the Lord? And if so, how have you navigated to overcome those phases? Certainly. We've definitely um, been in situations where um, God wasn't the center. Um, and basically, the way we navigated through it was we recognized it. We talked about it. We communicated. And then we got things back on track. I go to counseling faithfully and every so often when we're struggling in a situation, um, I do go to a Christian counselor. I'll pull my husband Cody in and we'll do sessions with her as well. Um, but that's how we've gotten through those times. Year three of our marriage, we laugh about it now, but it was the worst year of our marriage um, to the point where we were roommates and I pretty much was like, I don't even want to be with him no more. I don't even like him. The sight of him disgusted me and I'm sure same thing with him. But we came, we fought, and we decided that we're in a phase now, but we said that this we were in this thing forever. And just because I don't like you right now doesn't mean I don't love you. and doesn't mean that I can't fall back in love with you. And so we pushed past it, and we, like I said, we recognized the issues, and we got God back in the center. So I hope that answers the question. I'm trying to answer these questions quickly. I could do a whole video on each of these topics. How did you come up with different the different characters in your virtual classroom videos? And what made you come up with these videos? I'm going to be honest with y'all. This was the most random thing. <laughs> so when I first started YouTube, I had a lot of people telling me to start YouTube because of my comedy in general. If you know me in person, like in real life, you know that I'm a naturally funny person. It's not something that I pursue or like I'm trying to do. I just talk and people be laughing. So for me personally, I don't think of it that way. But a lot of people was like, girl, you're so funny. Like you should start a channel. And I was like, if I ever start a channel, I don't want to be a comedy channel. But comedy is a part of who I am. I am a funny person. I love making people laugh. And so it was going to show up at some point. But honestly, not to get too deep. 
I was in prayer about things I wanted to do for my channel and God spoke to me and told me to create the virtual teacher video, which was the very first teacher video. And I'll drop the link up here. It's the very first virtual school video that I did. And it got so much love on social media. I was just like, what the heck? And from there, people started going to my page and started subscribing. And slowly but surely, my page just started building. I'll make a whole nother video about that, how that even happened. Um, but the characters, honestly, they just, I just started thinking about what I experienced as an educator and what other, what I experienced as a parent. And I just came up with the characters and they just stuck. Do you have any occupation besides YouTube and are you a teacher? Yes, I am an educator. So my, um, like I said, my bachelor's in theater education and then my master's is in special education. I am an entrepreneur and I have a business, um, Center Stage Education and Consulting is the name. I'll drop the link below. Go check it out. With that being said, I taught in the classroom. I've taught in private school. Um, I've worked in public schools. I've done a lot of different things in, in the education arena. That is my occupation. Yes, I am a teacher. And so, yeah. Can you do different types of parents for virtual school kids? For example, a day in the life of a virtual school parent. I got you. I got some stuff coming up real soon. Just make sure you be on the lookout. What inspired you to start your education consulting? Whoever you are, thank you. Thank you for actually paying attention and researching and finding out. Yes, I do have an education consulting business like I said, mentioned earlier. Um, what made me start it, um, I wanted to do something where I could help children who were struggling, specifically children with disabilities, learning disabilities and such and whatnot, through the arts. I wanted to let them explore learning through song, through dance, through art, through music. And so um, it just was an idea that was birthed. And here I am two years strong. Yeah, this has been an amazing journey. So yeah, that's that. That's how I started. What do you use to film your iconic videos? Iconic? Come on, adjectives. I use my 10S. That's what I use. <laughs> um, yeah, I should get a sponsorship from Apple because, you know, just really good quality. Um, eventually, we do plan to get cameras, but right now, I ain't trying to spend that money. And if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? What inspired you to start your YouTube channel? It was God. Once again, it was God. All God. I was in the shower. I was very, very, very ill at the time. And um, I had considered, my husband and I had actually started a channel called The Fam TV, which that's going to come eventually. Um, but we had started the channel. We actually created the channel. We never dropped any videos. Um... So that was what I was going to do originally, a family vlog. But then the Lord spoke to me in the shower. He always speaks to me when I'm in the shower. And um, he was just like, he gave me the name. And the next day I was filming and I was sick as a dog. If y'all go back and look, I'll drop my intro video card right here. But if y'all go back and look, I looked gray. Like I was so sick. Um, but honestly, there wasn't any like real inspiration besides I just heard God speak and I just moved. Are you going to have a full sketch of Miss Jenkins? Um, I'm thinking a parent-teacher conference virtual. I don't know if I run out of my cards that I can use, but I'm going to drop the card up here. There is already a virtual parent-teacher conference video and Miss Jenkins is in it. Um, it's actually a part two. It's two parts. Part one and part two. Go check it out. How do you do your makeup, sis? <laughs> sis, I don't know if you want to know that. <laughs> I am not a makeup artist. I do have a 15-minute slay video. It's, I went back and looked at it recently. I'm not sure if I really want somebody to go back and look at that. People are watching it and they're enjoying it, but it's not a real makeup video. If you ask me compared to all the other makeup people, go check it out. It's called 15-minute slay from raggedy to jazzy. That kind of talks about how I do my makeup, but it's very simple. I don't do a whole lot. Even for this, I just put a little concealer on because I was looking a little raggedy. Did a little brow. I didn't put on no lashes. Just a little something. Oh, by the way, I forgot to tell you guys. 
I got my nose re-pierced last night. It was so random. So yeah. What advice would you give other mothers who want to start their own business? Ooh, child, that's a whole video. Let me see if I can sum that up because this video is getting long. My advice would be set your goals, set a schedule, and start knocking those goals off your list. And what I mean by goals is set your goals to get to the end goal, which is the business. So, for example, you want to start a makeup business where you're doing makeup. Well, I would set whatever your goals are is, okay, I want to purchase this stuff before I get started. I want to have this, this, and this. Okay, set that goal. Set a schedule. Okay, this week I'm working on, I'm calling around to see where I can get this from and that from. Okay, next week I'm going to set up, I'm going to do some trial runs with some people and see if they want to come get their face made up for, so I can use it as marketing. Like just different things. Set those goals up. Go after it. And I would say just start it do it afraid. I know it's a scary thing to start a business. I know more than anything. I oh, I could I will do a whole nother video on that. Honestly, I my my main advice will be just do it. I know that sounds very like okay, but I'm serious. Go after it. If you want it that bad, do the research and go after it. Okay? Okay. Did you ever get nervous or do you ever get nervous or excited when you record videos knowing that people are going to watch it and how do you deal with it? The answer is yes. Um, I get very nervous because this is who I am. I'm literally putting myself out in front of thousands of people. Every day there are people watching my videos. I'm getting new comments from new subscribers every single day, y'all. It is nerve-wracking to know that people are watching your stuff and... It is. Um, how do I get through it? Um, honestly, it's my subscribers. My subscribers are the most supportive, sweetest, kindest, like just y'all, y'all make my day. Like I read y'all's comments. I can't I, I can't respond to all of them. I try to, but it's starting to get a little overwhelming now because I'm getting like hundreds of comments a day. But honestly, Y'all help me get through it. Y'all support, y'all love. Man, I can't even begin to explain. But yeah, I do get nervous. So to answer your question, yes. What do you do in your spare time? Oh, I cook. I love to cook. I love to do hair. I love to dance. I love to sing. I love to act. I love to journal. And I love spending time with my friends. That's what I love to do in my spare time. And of course, spending time with my family. Were you nervous about starting a YouTube channel? Heck yes. That's why it took me forever to start one in the first place. I'm definitely nervous. Um, for years, I had considered it, but I never really talked about it. I just thought, it was just always a thought in the back of my head, but it was never something I really, really was going to pursue. And I was like, uh, you know, YouTube ain't for everybody. And here I am. <laughs> Did you ever get some rest? And how was Miss Jenkins born? Jenkins born. Um, I think I know exactly which subscriber asked this question. I remember seeing it. I got some rest, sis. And um, Miss Jenkins was born out of my imagination to create a grandmother who's struggling with virtual school. And she is a conglomerate of different people that I know in my life, including myself. Have you considered including your kids in your comedy skits? Yes, I have. Um, actually, my youngest son is in the virtual staff meeting video. My youngest son is in that video um, playing the son of the late teacher. Are you yourself a parent going through virtual learning? Yes, I am a parent. I experienced virtual learning um, when the pandemic first hit school shut down and so I was working from home my husband was working from home and my son was in school virtually and that was a whole hot mess which a lot of my inspiration for my videos have come from that I have been blessed enough that because I run an education and consulting business I have been hired by my clients to homeschool their children and so my son is a part of my homeschool and so every morning we get up we go to school 
we have an actual building and location. The kids get the other students get dropped off and he's there with me because originally we were gonna have him in virtual school because I wasn't comfortable with him going. Um, but then I was like, how am I going to have him checked in and teach these other kids? So I was like, you know what? I'm a teacher, I can teach him. So he's home official homeschool student with the rest of my clients. Do I want a second channel? Eventually, yes, I would like for uh to start a family youtube channel with my family have you ever thought about meeting charlene no i have not actually thought about it i think that would be hilarious um i actually love that character she's hilarious i um, think she's a beautiful lady um and i enjoy i definitely enjoy her character um i think miss jenkins and charlene would be a hilarious combination but no i haven't actually thought about that who and what inspires your comedy? I don't know. Y'all ask some good questions. Who and what inspires my comedy? Um, who inspires it? I, I don't know who inspires it. I would say I inspire myself because I'm just, it just literally the stuff comes up in my brain and it just comes out. What inspires it? I would say my love for laughter. I love to laugh. What advice? would you give someone who's looking for more subscribers? Be consistent, post regularly, know who your target audience is, do research before you do your videos. And I would say take time to research YouTube's algorithm and what it takes to grow your subscribers. I would recommend two channels. Um, there's a YouTube channel by a young lady. Her channel name is Catherine Manning. It's just Catherine Manning. Look her up. And Think Media. Those two channels helped me tremendously. And I do um, attribute a lot of my success to those channels. So, there you have it. What do you put on your grits? For those of us who argue about whether it should be sugar or salt... Baby, I don't do sugar in my grits, okay? You might as well have some oatmeal or cream of wheat for that, okay? I do salt, cheese, butter, you know, all the good stuff. Um, Does Miss Jenkins have a man? And where are the parents at? Does Miss Jenkins love Jesus? Um, I chose to answer some questions concerning the characters. It was a lot of character questions that um, I just didn't know if I would get time to, but I wanted to answer a few of them. Miss Jenkins' husband, Herbert, I believe that's his name, passed away. So, no, she does not have a man. She does love Jesus. She loves him dearly. And the parents of the children that she is watching are at work during this pandemic. Who is your favorite YouTuber? I have I have three of, like, three YouTubers that I really, really like. I like Gay Babe TV. I fell in love with them when I first watched them. My mom actually told me about them years ago and it took me two years to actually start watching the channel, but she had told me about it. Like she was like, you should watch them. They remind, um, they remind me of you and Cody. And when I watched them, it was eerily, it was very eerie how much alike they were with Cody and I. I really do like their channel, love their channel. They're some of my favorite YouTubers. I also really like EJ Speaks. I remember seeing one of her first videos about um, when the Africans braid your hair. I lost it. I was lit. I was laughing so hard because I feel like her type of kind of comedy is very similar to mine. Um, so I really enjoy her channel. Um, it's a good, clean channel. And then I also enjoy Sophieology. She is a lifestyle beauty influencer on YouTube, and I love her channel. Um, I really love her channel. So yeah. Okay. I'm just going to go through these questions. How do you edit your videos? I don't edit my videos. My husband Cody edits my videos and he uses Final Cut. Do you write your scripts for your comedy sketches or do you improv? It's all improv. Off the dome. <laughs> I do not write anything down. Do you want more kids? Yes, we do want more kids. Do I like cooking? Yes, I love cooking. Will there be more characters? Will you be doing other characters? Yes, I will. What is your favorite food? I don't know. It changes. 
I crave a lot of different things randomly. I don't know what my favorite food is, honestly. What is my favorite hairstyle? Anything that I don't have to do every day. Um, but personally, I like, I love to get braids and I also like when my hair is pressed out. I don't like wearing my hair when it's in its natural curly state. It's too much work. Will you stop doing comedy sketches after the quarantine and pandemic? No, I will not. I actually plan to start doing more videos related to like funny things that moms go through. Just funny lifestyle things because eventually the virtual school and pandemic stuff is going to be irrelevant. So, but no, I do not plan on stopping. Where did I get my God is good all the time shirt? I ordered that shirt from Shein. I got that shirt from Shein. Do you like roller coasters? I love roller coasters. What is the hardest thing about becoming a YouTuber? Being consistent and not giving up when you're not getting the results you're looking for. Did I go to college? Yes, I went to college twice to be exact. I graduated in 2013 with my bachelor's and 2015 with my master's. Do I see myself doing YouTube for a long time? I don't know. Um, depends on what your definition of long time is. As long time as the next 20 years, no, I don't see myself being on YouTube for the next 20 years. But the next maybe 5, 10 years? Hmm, yeah, maybe. What is your favorite thing about your YouTube community? My favorite thing about my YouTube community is how loving and supportive my subscribers are. Y'all make my day. I keep saying that. I'm going to keep saying that. Y'all make my day. Y'all are literally the sweetest, most supportive subscribers. Of course, you have some rude people that come on the channel, but you know, they're irrelevant. Okay. Do you like TV talent shows? I do not. I don't. I don't watch American Idol, um, The Sing Off. Those shows annoy the crap out of me. Do I like scary movies? I do not. I don't. And those are all of my questions. I know that was super fast, but we were at the 30, 30 minute mark. And I know for myself, I don't watch nobody for no 30 minutes. Okay. I just want to say thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you've made it all the way to the end of the video, then thank you. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and press subscribe. You already know you want to be a part of this community. Um, one thing I love about my community is that not only do they show love to me, but they show love to each other. It's, it's pretty dope. It's dope. I love it. And if you want to see my latest video, why don't you go ahead and click here and make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.